Hello, this is Sir Abdul Rahman. Today I am going to explain the question number nine of four zero two four paper two October number and uh, October number series. So this question is from the topic graphs in practical situation or you can say kinematics or speed time graph. In this question, there is a speed time graph here. And uh, there are two objects here, object B and object A. And objects A and B for the first 10 seconds of their motion. Object A traveled at a constant speed of 12 meter per second. This is a constant speed here. This is a straight line, horizontal line. And object B started from rest. Origin, the, this point is the rest. The object B started from rest here. This is the... And object B started from rest and accelerated at a constant rate, attaining a speed of 20 meter per second after 5 seconds. It then traveled at a constant speed of 20 meter per second. Object B accelerates, then uh, the constant speed for 5 minutes is 20 meter per second here in part one in the part one you have to calculate the distance traveled by object b during the first five seconds of its motion so recall the concept for in the speed time graph there is a note here in the speed time graph the area distance will be the area under the graph Distance is area under the graph. So, in this part, you have to find the distance during the first five seconds for object B. So, look at this is the line for object B here, and area under the graph is the area of triangle here so first you should know what is uh, you should know about area of triangle area of triangle will be 1 over 2 into base into height so in this case this is the base here this is 5 seconds and the height is Twenty here. So area will be uh, one over two into height into base times height is the formula here. So distance will be distance will be the area under the graph and the area is the area of triangle here. So we have to write one over two times base is base is five here. This is base here. So base is 5 and to height. The height is 20 here. This is the height 20. So 2 on the 2, 2 times are 20. 50 meter is the distance. 50 meter is the distance for object B covered during first 5 second years. Now move on on part 2. In the second part, average speed, examiner is asking about the average speed of object B for the first 10 seconds of its motion here. So for the average speed here, average, recall the formula for all, average speed. Note here. Average speed equals to total distance. Over time, total time. And when you look at the diagram for object B, so you like this. We have area, or we can say distance, which is D of 20 meter. So this is zero. 0 till 10 seconds, there are two parts here, triangle and a rectangle here. 
and uh, this is 5. So the length of rectangle is 10 minus 5 is 5 here. This is a length for this rectangle. And it was 20. Look at the diagram. So width is 5 and length is 20. So the distance equals to area and uh, this shape is the rectangle. So we can say length into width here. Length is, we have 50, 50, one for the area for, for first part or distance covered during five seconds. And the area of the second part is 20 times five. So 20 times five is uh, 20 times five. This is the total distance covered by object B. Our total time, the total time is 10 seconds. This is a total time. So 50 plus 100 divided by 10. 150 over 10. So every speed, it will be 15 meter per second. Or we can say 15 ms minus 1. This is the answer. Now move on for third part, part number three. Part number three is find the value of t when both objects were traveling at the same speed. Both objects are traveling at the same speed. Look at the diagram. In this diagram, you are observing this. This is the point of intersection of object B and A. And this is the point where both objects are traveling at the same speed. This is the point for same same speed here. Same speed for A and B. So in this point, we have to find time. So this is a line here. This is a straight line and find out the coordinates 0 comma 0. This is t comma 12 this point is 5 comma 20 and the, this is the this these points lie on a straight line and uh, this line showing constant acceleration constant acceleration means the acceleration uh, between two points and the and the acceleration between all the points are same here, will be same. So we can say the acceleration between 0, 0 and 520 or will be equal to the 0, 0 and T12. But you should know how to find the acceleration in this topic. So there is a note here to find acceleration. Acceleration is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can say now we can say we take 0 comma 0 and t comma 12 and now we can say we can take 0 comma 0 and 5 comma 20. This is x1, y1, x2, y2, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1, 12 minus 0, t minus 0, divided by 20 minus 0 over 5 minus 0. It will be 12 over 20. Now, by cross multiplication, it will be 4t over 12 Now, the value of t will be 3 seconds. 
this is the final answer for part part three now move on part four in this part four you have to find again the value of t but when uh, both objects had traveled the same distance same distance you recall the concept of distance distance is the area under the graph it means the area between the graph uh, will uh, must have same so we can say distance covered by object a equals to distance covered by object b and we have to calculate time t when distance are same so object a the shape of object a in this case is a rectangle here this is a rectangle and the distance is the area of area under the graph the shape is a rectangle here so the length of this rectangle is the complete length is t t is the length of this rectangle this is length equal to t here and the width of rectangle is 12 so the area of rectangle will be is uh, sorry is length into width length into width is the area of for uh, object a or we can find the distance here with this formula by multiplying 12 and t 12 into t now now for object b for object b the shape of object b is a uh, trapezium is there a trapezium here so object b for object b this side the length of this side is t here and the length of this side is total length is t and this length is 5 here so the length of this part the length of this part will be t minus 5 so we can say it is t minus 5 here height is 20 so recall the formula for trapezium trapezium the formula of area of trapezium will be 1 over 2 times h times a plus b so 1 over 2 times h times a plus b you write this 1 over 2 height is uh, 20 a is value of a suppose this is the value of a here and this is the value of b a plus b value of a is t minus 5 and the b is t so what's the 2 2 pens are 20 10 10 of 2t minus 5 over 12t so 20t minus 50 over 12t now the t value of t will be 50 over 20t minus 12 50 over 8 20t minus 12 uh 12t sorry so 50 divided by 8 will be yes you can use calculator because uh, it is the uh, you know it is from paper 2 so 50 over 12 will be uh, 
सॉरी फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई एट इट इज सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव so the time is 6.25 seconds when the distance covered by object a and distance covered by object b are same right now this is part b here uh, in this part the diagram uh, this is a diagram here shows the distance time graph for object b and in the original question the this is uh, the distance time graph is given in the original question in part b and uh, i have copied this diagram because it will be used for solving this part so in the diagram state the values of d1 and d2 d1 and d2 are the distance here so d1 d1 basically distance covered during 5 seconds distance covered during 5 second here so distance covered during 5 second is uh, uh we have calculated we have calculated the distance covered during Five second in part one, so d the, the value of d one is fifty. Look at part one. In the part one, I have we have calculated this. This part one. This is fifty meter. So d one is fifty meter here. D one d one is the distance or an area in the graph which is fifty meter calculated in the part one. So the value of d one is a uh, fifty meter here. D one is fifty. Okay. The distance between fifty here. Now for D two, D two is the distance covered during uh, ten second. During ten second, so what will you do? Um, we can find D two by using the formula of trapezium, or we can uh, find D two by finding area of rectangle five. The distance covered during five till ten is the area of this. Uh, so area of rectangle here, length into width. Length is five centimeter, ten minus five, five here, and the width is, uh, sorry, width is five, and length is twenty here. So twenty into twenty into five is hundred. So area during five till ten second, next five second till ten second is hundred meter. So. Distance covered during five till during five till this is five till ten second is hundred meter. So if we add fifty and hundred, we get D two, which is one fifty. Fifty plus hundred equals to one fifty meter. So D two is. One fifty meter. These these are the final answers. Now move on. Second part. What does the gradient of the straight line PQ represent? Gradient of the straight line PQ. So the gradient of the straight line PQ here. Look at PQ here. PQ is this here. And in the distance time graph. This this is the distance time graph and the distance time graph. The this line, the gradient of this line shows the speed. So we can say the gradient of this is for speed. The gradient of PQ shows the speed or represents speed. Speed of object B. So answer will be, it is it represents P Q represents the speed of object B. Gradient of P Q. Sorry.
speed of object B. During five, uh, during five second, sorry, during five, la last five second. Now part B, sorry, uh, it is uh, part B part, part three here. In a part three, part three, write down the gradient of the tangent to the curve at t equal to 2.5. At t equal to 2.5, this is the third part of part B. This is the third part of part B here. So, gradient of the tangent to the curve at t equal to 2.5. Time 2.5 here. This is, let's suppose, this is 2.5 here. And the gradient of the tangent. So, we draw the tangent. This is the tangent. And you should know the gradient of this type of line is a speed in distance time graph. Gradient of line and the line, the, this line is the, you know, tangent here. Represent speed. So this is a note here. It means you have to find a speed when time equals to 2.5. So how to find the speed? To find the speed, uh, we have to take the original figure here. This is the original diagram. And move on parts here. So first I adjust the diagram here. This is part C for this question. After 10 seconds, both objects slow down at the same constant rate. Slow down means speed is continuous decreasing. So line will be this for object A and for object B, this line. And this these lines are parallel. Because the rate are same, same zeros down at the same constant rate. So object A came to rest after a further nine second. So this red line is for object A. So it will be nineteen second after nineteen second. Object A will be at rest position. And in this part, we have to found find how many seconds from the start of its motion did object B come to rest. This line is object, object B and it means we have to find time for object B when it, when it is in rest position. So the approach is since lines are parallel here, so gradient of this line will be same or you can say the deceleration. This is a line for retardation in a speed time graph. Retardation of object B and object A are same. Retardation for object A and object B are same. In this case, so recall the formula of retardation, which is minus y2 minus y1. The formula of acceleration in negative form here, x2 minus x1 equals to minus y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So let's assume for object A. For object A, the point is, uh, you know, 19 comma 0. And this point is 10 comma 12. So 19 comma 0 and 10 comma 12. These are the coordinates of object B, A, and the object A. Oh, sorry, object B is here t comma zero, and this point is ten comma twenty. So t comma zero and ten comma twenty. Here. Now for these values, this is x one. Suppose this is y one. This is x two, y two. This is 
x1 for y object b y1 x2 and y2 <coughs> so put the values in the above formula here minus minus cancel equals to y2 minus y1 12 minus 0 10 minus 19 equals to y2 minus y1 20 minus 0 and 10 minus t now 12 over minus 19 12 over minus 9 equals to 20 over 10 minus t 3 4 are 12 3 3 are 9 here by cross multiplication now it will be this is minus you know minus 3 so minus 60 minus 3 into minus 20 minus 60 here and 4 times of 10 minus t minus 60 equals to 4 times of 40 minus t minus t equals to minus 60 minus 40 t is equal to 100 so Wait a minute, please. Sorry, there's a mistake here. This is a uh, four times uh, four times t forty here. Minus forty, forty to forty over hundred. It will be hundred over four equals to twenty second. क्या कहूँ हाँ दोबारा रिकॉर्ड लगाऊँगे अच्छा अभी रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं क्या हाँ बस ऑन रिकॉर्डिंग ऑन है एक कार्ड दूँगा मैं तुझे कटिंग वाला आ गया यार इसमें पता है तो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन हीर नाउ फोर टाइम्स ऑफ टेन माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री टाइम्स इनटू ट्वेंटी फोर्टी माइनस फोर्टी इक्वल्स टू माइनस सिक्सटी तो फोर्टी इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी प्लस सिक्सटी which is 40 equals to 100. So time equals to 100 over 4. Time equals to 25 seconds. So this is the final answer for this part. And uh, I hope you got the idea how to attempt this type of question. This is 12 mark question and this and mostly students feel difficult. Mostly students feel difficulty in this question. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video and share with your friend. Allah Hafiz, thank you.